about seven and a half years ago, a guy sitting about where you are in my class on the front, on the right, his name was Josh. He, uh, out of the blue, I don't know where he asked this, he said, Mr. Cox, do you like corn? I was like, no, I don't care for it. I, I wish I did, I just don't care for it. And he said, oh, you don't like corn, huh? So for the rest of the day, he sat there and talked about corn for like an hour, just because <laughs> he knew that it bothered me a little bit. So the next, uh, I don't know, the next day or two, him and his table of friends talked exclusively about corn for the entire class. <laughs> and then they started mispronouncing words on purpose. And it would be like, I'd get to work early and they'd say, Mr. Cox, good corning. I was like, what did you say? <laughs> Before I knew it, it had spread like a germ after about a month. And every student in every class would not shut up about corn. It started bothering me more and more. They started using Photoshop. And so they would take, the one kid took a picture of me and replaced my head with an ear of corn. And then they typed out corn on the cocks. <laughs> you clapping for that? <laughs> the one kid, one girl, she took a picture of me and she gave me uh, in, in Photoshop a unibrow, but it was a unibrow made out of little kernels, you know? Everybody started calling me unicorn. <laughs> I walked out on the front porch of my house one morning early, and there was a dang ear of corn right there on where I live, not at school. <laughs> How do they know where I live? And there was a message beside it. I opened it up and said, this is just the beginning. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I, it really started to bother, and it would make me very uncomfortable. So I went and I told my principal where I work, and he said, Mr. Cox, I don't care what those teenagers say. Of all the teachers here, I think you're the cream of the crop. What? what? <laughs>